Bob, the Pirates played at home against Lewis and Clark this past weekend. Uh, the team is currently in second place in the Northwest Conference, and uh, the Pioneers came in and took three out of four. Uh, as you look back on that weekend, what do we take out of it that we can build on for what's coming down the road? I think the team might be getting a little tired of my, hey, we're close kind of thing. Uh, it's disappointing. This is not where we thought we would be. Uh, certainly didn't picture losing three games to Lewis and Clark. Didn't picture losing two games to Willamette the week, uh, the week before. Uh, it also shows how you've got to be up and be ready for every game. But this was a weekend in which I felt like uh, they're, they're doing almost everything that we're asking for. Uh, you can be a, a good coach or even a bad one, have really good talent, uh, get the commitment, get the culture, but you also need a little bit of that luck in this game as well. It's amazing how we just have kind of gotten to a point in the season in which we are hoping to win instead of having those expectations that we're going to win. We're hoping we're going to get a hit that drops in with runners in scoring position. Uh, we had so many opportunities this weekend to really kind of blow some games open and uh, just those balls are finding gloves right now. So hopefully the Softball gods look down on us. We start getting some of those balls to drop in, and we've got time still left in the season to uh, work our way back into this. You alluded to it a little bit in the recap that, that there's a mental part of this game as much as there is a physical part of mm -hmm. this game. Uh, how, as a coach, during the week, do you coach to the mental part of the game as much as the physical part of the game? Well, as we're recording this, today we're going to go out and do a little competition. We pair them up. We put them in game-like situa situations. We start hopefully creating a fun environment. Uh, individually, this I just love this roster. I love this program. Uh, we need to buy into the culture and our core values and really support each other as a team a little bit more because as we're grinding, we get so individual. And individually, they want to do so well. And our body language uh, can do a lot for the program. I mean, when we're, when we're doing well, a player's doing well, that, uh, that spirit seems to, I think, uh, uh, roll through the rest of the program. But also when somebody is struggling, everybody else kind of feels that as well. So we gotta, we got to figure out a way to have a little fun, be loose, do all the mental work, all the mechanical stuff in practice, and just go be the best that we can be. And again, hopefully get a little bit of that, that, that luck on game days. Uh, you know, we've got a nice week of weather, I think, at home this week. Um, and we get to be at home this weekend again. Everything's right in front of us. Uh, I mean, I believe in this team. Uh, we, we need those one or two games that uh, starts letting them see what we've been talking about all year long. Uh, you talked about being home this weekend. We're playing the Puget Sound Loggers. What do we know about them and challenges they'll present? This is another one of those programs that I feel like no matter where we have gone in our seasons in the past, uh, it's, a, it's a team that we go in expecting to get four wins, and there's always that one or two games where they just make it tough. And uh, It's a program that has been uh, slowly getting better over the last uh, couple of years, and they're off to a pretty good start this year as well. Our conference is kind of wide open when you're looking at, especially right now, if you look at uh, the top four um, places that you need to be in order to get into the postseason. Uh, that third and fourth spot uh, pretty wide open right now, and who knows what can happen. Uh, for us, we need to do a better job of getting some runs on the board early, taking some pressure off of our pitching. Obviously, we've got an injury with uh, one of our pitchers, and... Uh, so it's going to be an all-hands-on deck, I think, when it comes to our pitching staff. But we can make that so much easier if we just know that we're, we're, we're better hitters, that we're better players when we uh, have that approach at the plate. And uh, it's going to be a really important weekend this weekend for the rest of our season.